I would like to call upon Dr. G. Gopala Krishnan, Director, BIMHRD, to welcome our guest with a bouquet. Thank you, sir. May we now call upon Nikita Bhojwani, Student Manager, Balaji Institute of Telecom and Management, to introduce Mr. Devesh Mukhija. A very good morning to one and all present over here. I am highly honored and privileged to introduce our guest speaker for this session, Mr. Devesh Mukhija. Devesh, sir is currently holding the position of Director and Country Head at Warren and Brown Technologies, India Private Limited. Warren and Brown Technologies is an Australian company and is a global leader in the supply and manufacture of optical fiber and copper communications equipment. David Sir has been with Warren and Brown Technologies since year 2007. Prior to joining, this company, Devish Sir, was with ADC Krone as business manager for nine years. Devish Sir holds a bachelor degree in electronics and communication engineering from MIT Aurangabad. Sir, may I now request you to enlighten us with your words of wisdom. The dice is all yours. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Yes, Hope I am everybody audible as well as visible. Yes, <laughs> okay. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity by BITM management to present something. I am also an engineer like you people, especially from area which you people are. I had done my engineering from Aurangabad in 91. And after that, I was a teacher there for an year. So it's today, standing in front of all uniformed students gives me the same feeling, that if I'm a professor or a lecturer of long back. So you may find my presentation a little bit on the conventional side, but let's start. I come from a company called Warren and Brown Technologies India Private Limited. Basically, it's an Australian company, and we are having an India office in Gurgaon. Most of the people you might be aware, where is in Gurgaon in India? It's in a close proximity of Delhi, and Delhi NCR, which we call. And now, before I start the presentation, I would like to give you a little bit on what exactly is a telecom in India. We are 1.3 billion people, and out of which about 1.05 billion people are connected, be a wireless or a be a wireline. Oh, we have a landline, 25 million, cell phone, 1.03 billion, which is increased and getting increased every year by 1 million. And the teledensity till February, it was 81%. It's now more, much more than that at present. You might be aware, we have landline operators like BSNL, MTNL, ILEX, we call it as, CLEX, Airtel, Reliance Communication, Tata Teleservices, Quadrant, which is present in Punjab only, and the part of Videocon and MTS. Then we have mobile operators, CLEX, Airtel, Vodafone, you might have read and heard about the names, ILEX, BSNL, MTNL, and there are small operators, MTNL, MTS, Videocon, Telenor. Then we are now getting a 4G service, which you might have 
heard yesterday. <laughs> and now, already Airtel, Vodafone, and Idea is also offering 4G services in bits and pieces in the country. Now we have OEMs like Ericsson, Nokia, Huawei, ZT, and Alcatel. These are the companies which are in the domain of telecom, which makes India a telecom. Be a telecom operator, be a OEM, a service provider. And we are a vendor for OEM as well as to the operator. Now the technologies at present which in India is using is a CDMA, which is very, very less now at the moment. Then 2G on 900 and 800 megahertz, which is widely used and pan India at present. Then there are the 3G services on HSPC and uh, UMTS, 2100 megahertz as well as 900 megahertz. Then 4G LTE, which is coming up now. Now, main thing of the telecom is internet users. Even though as far as the numbers is concerned, we are third position after China and USA. Till it. But thanks to our population, we are still having more numbers to penetrate. More people are to be added on the internet. And broadband users, we have about 140 million subscribers, including wired and wireless at present. And it is increasing, you can say, in a straight line. Every year there is a growth. And people are anticipating that by 2017, there will be 284 million people on broadband. And now our Reliance Geo coming into, they are claiming that by another two, three years, they will cover 80% of the population. Now this is mobile subscriber share, which is the Bharti's dominant at the moment, 24% shareholding. And <coughs> then there is the operator-wise broadband users. You can see again there is a Bharti Airtel, Vodafone, Idea, BSNL, Reliance. So these are all numbers which shows how every operator is working and on which is their, you can say, subscriber base on which they are working. Now, till now it was all about India on an academic side, what all exactly is telecom, what all technologies are being used, how many subscribers are there, how many <coughs> subscribers they are into a broadband internet. Now what is actually Warren and Brown Australia? We started in 1921 as a precision tool company and now 90% are telecommunication company. And we have head office in Melbourne, right Sean in the dark. We have very lean organization as far as a global company, only 210 employees. And we have production facilities in Australia, Philippines, Thailand, and a small facility in Gurgaon, India. Now, what is Warren and Brown India? We started operation in 2007, and we have head office in Gurgaon. We have facilities for assembly, sales, export, servicing, and warehousing. And we are focusing on telecommunication carriers and OEMs, and we are having running contract with which is our confidential document still I can share. Or you name any operator, we are with them. Now the products which we deal are passive components or technically they call it as optical fiber accessories. As uh, you might be aware, for the copper cables, if you need to connect two cables, you need to just wind it or solder it, done. But in case of fiber, you can't do that. In case of fiber, there is a third person which has to come in between when you're in, uh, you know, joining two fibers. Be inside the telephone exchange, be outside plant. So that portion is called accessories or passive components where we are. We are making fiber patch cords, connectors, attenuators, couplers, fiber management systems. Then we have optical fiber splice closures which are used outside plant. You might have seen on the roadside orange cables or yellow cables going in every two kilometer or one kilometer, there are dome type joint closures are there. Then fiber ducting raceway systems, which is used inside the telephone exchange to give the life to your patch cords. Otherwise your life, patch cords are just hanging around. You just put it on a decent way and it improves your aesthetic value of your room. Plus it gives a protection to your fiber patch cords. Then we have a complete solution of fiber to the home. 
and in uh, Asia we have done Vietnam and Taiwan, two big projects, and now we are uh, positioning for India also. And all these products details can be seen at warrenandbrown.com.au. Till now, it's a kind of introduction to India Telecom, my company, India company. Now, from here, it comes to what exactly is required. Now, this is just to give you, a, being a global company, how we are globally present. Green color shows production facilities and sales activity red color. You name any operator, you name any country uh, worldwide, we are there. Now comes, what is this convention? Skills, futuristic skills for the successful career in corporates. Now before moving into that, whether it's a successful or unsuccessful, that's a different. First is what is skill? The definition of skill is doing a job to achieve a predetermined result in a given amount of time and energy or both. And skills can be of two types. One is a general skill, be a communication skill, be a carrying yourself is also a skill. Then work specific, what specific job you are doing, how much skillful you are. Now why the skills are required? Anybody and everybody has some skills, why, what differentiates between two? And he's supposed to do the job in a professional way, he's doing it in the best way. That's why he's a excellent manager, a normal manager is a good manager. Now, why you need a skill? First and the foremost is edge over the competitor. Everywhere, be in your job, be in your house, anywhere, you need it. First, skill is theoretical or academic knowledge of all telecom technologies as telecom is based on the technology. I'm talking about only telecom because you are all telecom faculty people. Now knowledge of telecom industry and areas telecom where you can look into. First is the planning of the network which is a very vast. Tomorrow you may be joining Bharti Airtel and they will put you on network planning. Go and sit in Chikmangalur and plan the network. We want to put some 4G sites there, 3G sites there. Then very important is billing. How you run your softwares and how you incorporate billings as per the customer. Then operations, operation sales. Then marketing and branding of the company. Then supply chain, which is also equally important. See, today's world, or everywhere it's applicable, your all top lines, numbers, are governed by industry, market. You can't do anything for that. If somebody is selling the same thing, telephone connection at 100 rupees, being an other operator, you have to sell it at 100 rupees. You can't charge 105 rupees even. Moment you charge 105 rupees, nobody will come to your door. Now, how will you make money if you reduce your bottom line? Keep increasing numbers, volumes, and reduce your cost. That's how your profits come into. That's how the supply chain plays an important role. Then quality and certification of the network. This is also a scope where any person can into look into the career. Now, from a corporate perspective, what are all the skills which you might have read also in your management books? First is sharp communication skills. Be it a verbal or writing, but perfection in communication to the team members, seniors and external people, which is the foremost skill required in a corporate world even in home also. If you are not able to communicate to your parents properly, there is a rift. If you are not able to communicate to your brother, sister, there is a rift. How can it be done? Removed. If you are able to properly communicate with them. Then you have to be an excellent team member. In a telecom environment, you won't find a one-man job. You will also be 
a part of the team. So you have to equally participate and so have to become an excellent team member. You have to be a patient listener and analytical about the processes which are going around you. Develop a proactive approach rather than a reactive approach. Be a troubleshooter and a not a troublemaker. Work without ego and in an ethical way, but with a self-respect. The chart I shown you from getting graduated to up to uh, craftsman, ego being a human nature automatically comes. But a skillful person and professional person will control his ego. Because the moment you put up your ego into your work, you will spoil your own skills. Now, other thing is excellent time management. Make a habit of the to-do list with time schedules. Allocating the right responsibility with the appropriate resources. You are going to be a manager in the company. So you should be aware to whom I have to give which responsibility, who is capable of doing that, and what all resources he need. Then be an excellent manager of all the situations. Possess not only knowledge of telecom, but keep updating yourself with other fields, especially IT. Telecom is such a field which cannot live without IT. And IT is such which cannot live without telecom. So you have to be familiar with IT as much as you are familiar with the telecom. And develop in yourself a futuristic approach. Now, you will see in the future a telecom is not mere service which a company provides you a telephone connection which you talk do some sms do some little bit texting internet it will be a service provider and it will be associated with every industry now future is demand for data abundance and high speed network so for that you need devices and equipments who can hold those speeds hold those data you won't find a samsung coming to you and saying your phone is 16 gb you can upgrade up to 32 gb 128 gb it will be now terabytes because you are having high speed heavy data so you will keep videos you will keep your all lectures in that phone now, slowly, slowly, this telecom is going to merger with IT and will be developed as ITES, IT Enabled Services. So it will be part of everything, be a doctors, health, agriculture, automobile, or maybe civil engineering. A civil engineer sitting at the site can send the drawings, alterations to his client sitting across any part of the globe. And you might be aware now this automobile using ITES. Are you aware? With a SIM card, you can give your engine health and engine checkpoints to the person sitting far away from your car. And they can control it from there. So how it is happening? IT plus the SIM card, which is telecom. So it is a ITES. So everywhere now it will be ITES. Not only the telecom is only for telephone voice. So like yesterday, Mr. Mukesh Amani said, voice and will be free always for everyone. So it's a part of, so it was always a service, enabled service. What you are going to do, you are a doctor, you need your all MRI reports and all those things of your, uh, or your patients, so you can have it on your computer or your, in your handset. Now, other thing is entertainment industry which is getting more and more on ITES. All these music videos and all whatever they are making, all our movies also making on a soft copies, which is available on soft. So data is required. Now, to sell those things, to create those things with the help of IT, telecom, and position them in the right market, you need skills. Only then can be done. 
So there is an opportunity there. Then demand for video-based services is expected to increase. You will find everything coming or not only as a voice, somebody will come and uh, repair your and, you know, telephone or your uh, computers on phone. You will put it on a video, Skype or something, and he will just do it in front of you and interaction with you physically. Now the new technology which is coming up, fiber to the home, which requires a lots of skills of managing and operating the network. There also MBA people are required and skills are required. You have to learn the skills for that futuristic world and deploy them. Now, as FTTH will increase, your demand for smart TV and high-tech music systems are expected to grow exponentially. You want to see all uh, video on demand, movie on demand, everything on your computer. So you need a smart TV. Then smart homes also in the future. You are sitting outside. You want, when you come back, your house is air conditioned properly. Your geyser is working. Your milk is already hot when you reach there. So all these thing features will be based on IT and IT enabled services. Plus telecom will be back home. Now, there is a futuristic approach. Very simple management funda. Do not put all eggs in one basket, which is applicable everywhere. Now, second is manufacturing telecom components and products in India, which is a vision at present, Digital India and Make in India. <clears throat> so, there is a, so skills are required that you need to learn how you can make products in India. Then you have to do the risk analysis and making appropriate strategy which plays an important role for sustainable business, which is just a brain or a, you can say an educated person or a qualified person can do that. It's not at everybody's job. It is a skill which has to be developed. How you can do the risk analysis of your situation, how you're on a business which you are into, you have to do the risk analysis and then make a strategy and then work accordingly. Then <clears throat> you have to make a cost effective production. Whatever you are doing has to be cost effective. Market intelligence needs to be updated consistently. This is also a skill which every individual, not only from telecom, everywhere one person has to develop this. You should be aware what is going in the market. Now, then there is a revenue generation, new revenue streams. Now, if everybody is uh, talking about low price, low price, how will they get the data? Uh, how will they get the money? How the revenues will come? How they can increase the revenue? So you should have a skill to understand where a telecom guy or a telecom company can generate more revenues. That's also a skill needed to be developed. Then engagement with the customer should be on a regular basis, which is a relationship management which everybody should have. They say to have a relationship is good. Second thing is to have a consistent relationship is more important. And the most important is to use that appropriate relation at the appropriate situation. In a layman word, if you can kill with a revolver, why are you putting a cannon there? So that's also a skills need to be developed. Then marketing initiatives. Keep tab on the strategy of the competition in the market. You should be aware what all the competition is doing. Then last point, global. Think global, act local. You cannot say this is a global company or global product which I am giving you at this price or this service at this price. Has to be with the local touch, local rates, local prices, local content and that. Thank you very much. Now the house is see. open for questions.
गुड मॉर्निंग सर Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. My name is Munman Ghosh. I'm from Core Telecom Batch, BITM. So I have two questions, basically, sir. Would you like to answer those questions on one go, or like first you answer the first? As you ask. Okay. Okay. I'll ask you the question. You answer first, then I'll ask the next question. Sure. Okay. So my first question is: How do you see the automation to be introduced in the telecom sector? to be affect to affect the telecom industry in near future will it lead to layoff and if it yes then what are the skills that are we that we telecom managers are required to be adept at be it on oss side or bss side see as i read, said from the beginning of my presentation telecom is not telecom now it is ites when it is a ites it includes automation and you rightly said there will be layoffs so that's why you need one aspect you are getting laid off but you are a manager you are a telecom guy you know everything all the fields if you are supposed getting out of the operation you develop your skill to go into marketing or into supply chain so there is a, not only one side you are getting laid off yes of course it's a tension situation you are getting laid off because company got automated everything but there is similarly opportunities are more now which i mentioned one one after other things so you can develop your skills or keep your the skills developed so that you can use as a resource there so what are the other resources according to you i have mentioned in my presentation the marketing operation side Oper everything okay now if you see into fttth there are plenty of opportunity there also if you start developing your skills and understanding what exactly is the technologies and what all these things be a marketing even how you can market how you can uh, add on value by suggesting them to uh, increase the revenue streams okay. i give you small example it's a just a thought process tomorrow if you call someone because voice call is free how the revenue will come to the operator he will put somebody's advertisement yes that you will listen supposed to listen for 5 seconds or 10 seconds the advertisement then your conversation start so similar this kind of situations you can develop a think of your think tanks you can think of how the revenue can be generated like in your computer when you are doing surfing there are pop ups of some so these are all uh, Uh, you know revenue streams which are developed by google for everyone yes, so that's why it all is there. of course it's a kind of a shaking of the situation you are we all are going to be shaken in next 2 3 years the way telecom is moving the way industry is moving the incumbent player which are established they are fond of having so big chunks now they will have to you know justify their jobs their investors their shareholders how they will revenues true that you have to generate more revenues this stream is not working developed other stream yes sir. so similarly the people required in one place may be required in another place it's not only that we are just only a kind of a, you can say apprentices just we i am okay with like a carpenter i can make your cupboard set right whatever way you want but i can't do on a plumbing work we all are to be you know now educated and developed our skills that if i am working as a carpenter today tomorrow i can work as a plumber if i say it in a layman language yes sir so that's the need of the day and hope sir, i answered sir. your question yes sir the second question about the company warren and brown so uh, i like as you mentioned about your company it is more on to the network side yes. like fttth and all so is it uh, like is there uh, are there any chances for warren and brown to fledge itself into bss domain see that's a kind of a universal or global strategy of the company we are into the supply of components or hardwares to for the outside plant mostly and few component for the inside but as for the servicing or bss or anything is required we are into not that we are developing some products like a uh, hybrid cables combination of fiber and power cable from fiber to the antenna and those wireless solutions we are working but 
again, it is a kind of a supply of components, no service part. Sir, plus the employee size that you mentioned is 210. Yes. So, uh, sales, uh, like Warren Brown, will it be hiring sales profile people in India, like as it is, uh, you know, it is headquartered yes. in Gurgaon. So, will it be hiring people all over, all across the country? Yes, as business grows. If it okay. is required, we will require a person in Pune also. Okay. Yeah. So, because we are having a customer, as I mentioned to you, Pan India. Hmm. And uh, as the business uh, gets, you know, grown up, so we may require persons in different places. Yes. Of course, there is a possibility and quite a bit we are working in that direction also. Thank you so much, sir. Welcome. Hope I replied correctly. Yes, sir. That was an amazing, like, right. amazing interaction with you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Actually, she asked my question of that uh, number of employees of 210. Uh, your company, sir, being so global and so vast, why it, is, uh, it has employed only such a less number of employees? Is uh, this because of rapid development of introduction of techno technology and means curbing down the human labor? Sir, your question is right, but answer is very simple. And one more. Oh. Uh, you mentioned in your pre presentation that uh, to minimize the cost. So, sir, if we minimize the cost, so we need to increase our call rates and all if the sim uh, sim companies they'll uh -huh. be increasing the call rates and all so people would tend to switch to other sim so now you are relating two things together yeah first for question i understood is that why you are saying number what you're saying number of employees see it's a kind of a company policy not to hire too much people Give the person a job for 10 years rather than giving 10 person job for one year. It's easy to hire the people, but very difficult to terminate them. Emotionally also, as a professionally also, it's not a good thing. So when we hire a person, we are sure that this business is going to be at least, or this sector which we are, be a commercial, be a supply chain, be a logistics, be a sales, a person we are hiring, it, this business we will be into three years at least so that job security is there for suppose if you hire too many people first thing is how to manage them instead of managing your customer managing your products your management goes into the people how to justify these people are doing the jobs so that's the one reason we try to keep as much as lean organization Second thing comes, when you are having a small number of people, the responsibilities are bigger. Like I, as a sales, I am a salesperson from my career. I started my career in sales and I had been sales. But now in this company when I started, I am looking after all the operations. So responsibilities are more, ownership is more. I am taking more ownership, that's why I am justifying my job. Instead, if what I would have said, if I am a salesperson, why should I be worried about supply chain? Okay. So that's the reason. How to minimize the costs? Yeah. Now, uh, coming to your other point, which is a uh, SIM related, you yeah. said. See, it's a, uh, not we cannot generically, we can say. It's a general phenomena. You have to be on a cost effective. Otherwise, Suppose your SIM card or number of call rates, if you are talking about increasing number, say, you have to find out the ways. Whether you want to import SIMs instead of 10 lakhs, import 20 lakhs together. How you can reduce the costs, which is important. Because you cannot, uh, now suppose everybody is giving nowadays free SIM, nobody is charging any SIM if you want to go to for Vodafone or you want to go to for IDEA. Whether the, uh, suppose I will charge you 20 rupees, whether 20 rupees is nothing, but will you be ready to pay? No. Because market controls that. You cannot charge anything extra. But nobody is worried about whether you imported 20 lakh SIM cards or 2 crore SIM cards together and how you have reduced the cost. But you are giving them a free. That's okay. That is important. Thank you, sir. Right. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Sweet. This was the last question. Anything else? Good. Yeah. 
So, good morning, sir. I am Pulki Jain from Telecom Batch. Today, my question is: the quality of service that Reliance Jio is offering is good, and so far the data is speed at this point of time. But will the Jio will able to sustain it? Sorry, sir. I am not Mukesh Ambani. Who can apply this question? <laughs> but, sir, but like as a uh, like a user. You are a user. I am also a user of that services. Like sir, they are estimating that uh, in upcoming two years they will have a three million customers. So on that basis, I am asking you. See, uh, I can share you what all I have industry knowledge. Yes. Sir. They have created a very very big network, and they have instead of just giving to the subscriber, they have trialed everything. They have spent about. One lakh crore rupee or twenty lakh crore rupee on the network building up our network pan India, which is the first and foremost edge over the other people. That from the day one when they will start the service, the Agartala guy sitting in northeast will have the same Jammu guy sitting in Jammu Kashmir, and Chikmangalur guy sitting in Tamil Nadu will have the same facility. So that is the more important. First is they are present in pan India. Of course, quality of service. is a very very big question mark in india at present yes sir there are many many factors into that if you ask for the telecom operators they will say we don't get the licenses or permission to hold, you know put towers so those all things are uh, kind of a political driven sometimes yes, so quality of service at this present time what will be after 2 years can be guessed but cannot be concluded yes Only Reliance Jio will survive, or Bharti Airtel will survive. Or nobody else. No, you never know what all the political hidden agendas are behind that. Who is going to support? Plus, what practically will happen if the services are coming in a Reliance Jio way? The other companies, the competition, how will they react to it? That will also happen. And you. acquisition and mergers will may happen, which is likely to. Like uh, many, uh, you might be aware that Telenor. came into very big way now they are getting sold off sistema sham tele service they started operation in rajasthan and then got licenses for 7 8 more circles but instead this sold it to mts russian company now mts i'm so found it difficult to work in india so they have given it to reliance so this consolidation is likely to happen tomorrow you may find many people or may find after 2 years nobody else two three players or four players yesterday also on cnbc tv they were mentioning in a couple of years or rather should say next two three years there will be three or four players rest every small operators has to go which is also quite possible from a technical aspect yes the way their network has been built up and if it is popped up with all the subscribers all together how much it will be able to survive Or the pressure of course that's question Thank nobody you, can say that yes it won't fail but it's a question and has to be seen practically yes of technically on a board yes it looks like it can work right thank you thank sir you. thank you sir yeah today we learn about the skills and its types that is general skills and work specific skills yeah. we learned about the skills trend and the reason why we are required to have skills we learn a little more about the telecom industry and the areas in telecom sector we also learned about the skills which we are required to excel in that industry thank you sir we look forward for many more such interaction on and off the campus may i now request dr david kadam director projects and alumni affairs to present memento to mr devesh mukhija thank you sir